A huge misconception when you're buying a home is that you have to put 20% as a down payment. Well, guess what? You don't have to, but there is a caveat to that. If you don't put 20% down, then you'll have to pay something called private mortgage insurance or PMI. In this week's video, I'm gonna go through exactly what it is, how much it is, and how you can stop paying for it. So stick around. Hey everyone, this is Danae Hewitt, your go-to DFW Realtor. Thanks so much for joining today and let's get into exactly what PMI is. So again, it's called private mortgage insurance. What this means is that you are actually paying insurance that the lender is requiring you to pay if you default on the loan and if your home goes into foreclosure. So it's insurance for the mortgage company that you have to pay for. How much is it? It's anywhere between a half a percent and a percent of your total loan. So what does that look like in numbers? If you are getting a loan for $200,000 and your PMI is 1%, well then you have to pay $2,000 over the course of 12 months. Divide that by 12 and you're paying about an extra $166 a month on top of your mortgage, taxes, and insurance. The great news is, is that PMI is not a permanent fixture in your payments. The way that you can eliminate that is if you have 20% extra equity in your home, talk to your mortgage lender. It may require a refinance, but talk to them about refinancing to remove that private mortgage insurance so that you don't have to make that extra payment. If you have any questions about what PMI is, talk to your mortgage lender. I'm a real estate agent. I like to stay in my own lane of buying and selling houses. But of course, I do get asked these questions from my clients that I am helping to purchase a house. If you don't have a mortgage lender that you have worked with before, please let me know and I'd be happy, be happy to give you a couple of references of some great lenders that I have worked with over the years. If you like this video, then check out this video where I go through the minimum down payment amounts in different price points on homes here in DFW. Thanks so much for sticking around. We'll see you next week.